Capricorn, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for the month of July, 2023. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a Oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. It's super hot outside. Blue is here under my chair and messing with stuff. Hey, let's not mess with stuff. And um, I also, because it's so hot, I got him a little bit of a dog slash kitty pool. So by the end of the series of this uh, monthly readings is done, you'll probably see him splashing around behind me. But by then, he's probably gonna go inside because it's too hot. Um, he's here for you guys, but he will go inside after this. <coughs> Ooh, the overall energy for the reading, the death card. Man, smack down in the middle of the summer. Process of death. At least it's not cold out. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Something might be coming to an end. It could be your own death process. No, it's not. No, something is uh, definitely coming close to an end here uh, for you. Which could be a good thing, you know, it's not necessarily always, oh my god, the worst thing. Uh, but starting off the reading, the Two of Swords crossed by the Five of Cups. There's a situation you're dealing with uh, that's a little too complicated at this time. It's a little, like, it keeps you very busy up here. It keeps you very, um, like on the edge, possibly all the time. Like, what you're giving me for this one is like, it's just too much. It's just too much. I'm, I'm kind of tired of it. And it's something that's been here for a while. It's been persisting. And I just see you being like, you know, having enough of this one. Whatever it is in your focus here, the sun. I mean, you want happiness. And whatever this energy here is, that's kind of pressing at times, just doesn't fit um, what you want for yourself. You know? Do not chew on my chair. Chill. Uh, in the recent past, the Knight of Cups, I kind of get the sense that whatever it is now that's stressing used to be better. You know, it used to work out, it used to be smoother, a little better. Not anymore. It's bringing in a lot of stress currently. In your strength here, the Ace of Cups, that's what you're focusing on. Because as I said, you're definitely trying to leave stuff behind, stuff that just doesn't work for you anymore. So that's why it seems like this is the process, the death process is applying to a situation in your life that just doesn't coincide with your direction, where you need to go, where, where you plan to head towards, which is happiness, love, you know, a lot of great energy, a lot of energy. Like, oh, that's not this energy right here, the one that keeps you stressed out. Stop it. That's what I get for giving you a looser leash. Um, in the immediate future, the Eight of Wands, uh, I mean, this is definitely a, a, some sort of sharing of energies, possible communication, but it's a good one, you know, so I don't know what this is about, but it's definitely about not only your energy, it's something that you're sharing with someone here. And it could be in regards to this one here, the supportive energy, a brand new beginning, uh, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, there's a lot of focus on your part on self, on taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, loving yourself and things like that. And whatever this is, I feel like it's part of that process, you know, like why would you keep something close by that's not benefiting you, you know, that's not really in tune with what you want for yourself. So, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of emphasis on that, on self-love. Um, in your hopes and fears, the page of wands, you wish for things to work out in this particular situation. I'm not sure. I don't know if they will. You don't know if they will. 
you know, you just know what you're dealing with and what you're dealing with for the situation doesn't look like what you're hoping for. You know, they, they don't look the same. In the um, potential outcome, the Nine of Wands, a little bit of resistance, a little bit of kicking and screaming like, uh, I wanna let this go, but I can't, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's clarify. Let me clarify the death card. It's like the overall energy for this reading, the, the source of this is something's got to go, you know, basically. And I feel like you know that. I feel like you're kind of directing that. Consciously, not consciously, I have no idea. But <clears throat> for the death card, the four of wands, the knight of cups, the five of pentacles. Yeah, it looks like some sort of a commitment that, again, with the knight of cups, and I saw it in the past here too, at some point it did work out. For whatever period of time of your life that was, it was great, it was good. For right now, it's not coming with the same energy. It's coming with an energy that keeps you on the edge. It keeps you like, like stressed more than anything. So, you know, and it is surrounded by energies of death. Left, right, front, rear, you know, everywhere you look at the situation from every angle you look at, it's, it's the death card, the five of pentacles. It's like, I'm not sure if it's a done deal or already in terms of energetically speaking. And it's a matter of you, you know, physically putting this into play or, uh, but it's here, the energy of it's a done deal is here. Um, <clears throat> let's do the two of swords, seven of swords, the high priest is the six of pentacles. I feel like you've had attempts over and over again to, to pull away from the situation repeatedly, you know, in the past. And right now you're in one of those energies of, eh, it's looking like it's not doing me good, so let me pull back. But uh, for some reason, you're not listening to your intuition when it comes to that. Because your intuition tells you, well, you know, it could work out eventually. It could be better eventually. So ultimately, you're kind of at that precipice of, you know, just dropping it completely or still waiting for that day where it could get better. Uh, let's do the five of cups, but you're looking at the past and the past looks pretty much the same where you told yourself the same thing there. And did it get better? I don't know. You tell me. Five of cups, you get the nine of swords, the star, the queen of pentacles. Interestingly enough, the energy of self-love was here all along. So however way you dealt with this in the past, you actually ultimately decided to put yourself first. It's a very tough thing to do with this one for you. I don't know why. Stop it. Let's not chew on wires. You have sticks, you have toys, you have all sorts of things. You have chairs. Um, I don't know why it's looking so difficult for you, this decision. It's almost looking like you prefer to keep yourself in a place of stress rather than releasing this. Because beyond that stress is a sense of, and you know that, you know, it's not like you're finding it out for the first time. You've dealt with the situation before. And every time you released it, you're like, hmm, this feels better, you know. But you keep on putting yourself in the same situation, especially in regards to this particular person, commitment, whatever this is. So you end up in the same pickle every time, in the same... Hmm. It feels good for five minutes and then it gets you back into, hmm, let me stress about it. So at this point, it's really up to you. Do you like to be stressed about it or do you like that energy of releasing yourself from this, you know? Uh, which doesn't mean necessarily to release the situation, but to release any kind of expectation, any kind of anything you have tied up to it and see what happens. If it's meant to stay, it'll stay. If not, no, you know? Um, but that's acceptance over it. Because I see you doing the same thing over and over again about this one. Choosing consciously 
to keep yourself in this position of stressing about it. Where beyond that, there's release from that. For the sun in your focus, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're making this happen. You're creating a brand new beginning here. I don't know what you got going on, what you're doing, but energetically speaking, you're creating a brand new frequency for yourself that you're stepping into and it feels good. It feels like, oh my God, this is it, you know? Uh, and it's in your hands with the King of Swords here. So you're kind of giving me, with the Six of Swords coming in, you're kind of, kind of giving me a, a little bit of, you know, once I get this rolling, get this done, and I'll step into this new frequency, then maybe the situation will fall off on its own. Almost like not wanting to take charge over it, not wanting to take responsibility. Hey, I got to put a stop to this, you know? It's up to me. Now, if that situation changes, or if that situation happens, or if that, you know, kind of relying on other factors here to make the decision for you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me do the Knight of Cups in the recent past. Whee! The Five of Swords, the Tower of the Moon. Did it ever work out really? Or did it just show up in that way? Because I see the energy of, no, nah, it's working out, no, oh, it feels great, oh, it's light, oh, it's easy. And behind that, it's a fucking shit show. Well, there's like a tornado running through there and then the five of swords on top of it all saying are you sure it's working out are you sure this is for real working out i don't know i see a thin curtain there that's showing me something different about the situation maybe you wanted it to work out maybe you saw potential in it maybe this that and the other but the reality of it if you think about it did it really work out or did you lie to yourself about that one yeah. Uh, let's do the Ace of Cups in your strength. Eight of Cups, Two of Swords, the Judgment card. I mean, you want a brand new beginning in love on one hand, and then on the other, you're not connected to your heart. So you, you can't really have a brand new beginning in love because that's connected to your heart. And you want a brand new beginning in love, especially for this situation. It's like, so what's happening really, because I'm looking at it from the bigger picture, you're stepping into a brand new energy that you're creating for yourself. For some reason, you get all stubborn about bringing this energy over with you, over here, where you're, you're going to. It's, it's a big decision on your part to make. And at this point, this situation that you want to bring in with you, there's no clarity about it. And the energies that are showing up surrounding it feel like they're not matching this new frequency that you're stepping into. And you keep on, no, they will. Okay. But just so you know, you're coming from a very confused space, mind space. When you decide, let me take this energy with me. There's no clarity there. There's no, I'm not 100% sure. I just want to bring this here, force it to fit into here, and we'll see where we'll take it from there. Because this here, where you're going, is very clear, pretty open, very smooth kind of an energy. And you're bringing in something that's quite the opposite of all of that. So if you think that that's not going to mess with this, think again. So all I'm saying is make sure you're clear about the energies you're bringing with you in this brand new beginning. I'm not saying cut something off, don't cut it, especially if you're unsure about it. Don't make any drastic decisions here. Just make sure you're clear about what you're bringing into this new beginning. For the Eight of Wands in the immediate future, the King of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Death card. I mean, this is a much more it looks like a better, clear, more, more clear energy on your part in terms of where you're at with the situation, what it's representing at this point. Uh, where there is love, you have in your heart for the situation, but at the same time, there's a really clear cut kind of an energy of this is it. That's the end of the road for this. And I feel like it's going to be possibly communicated. Um, 
to whoever you're dealing with, which again, if you're coming from this place of a lot more clarity, okay, if that's what you feel, okay, you know. I support whatever you give me from a clear space, whatever you're giving me from a pretty messed up place, no, I'll never support that, you know. Uh, I'll try to make that as obvious as I can for you so that you figure it out for yourself. Uh, for the Ace of Pentacles and the supportive energies, you get the Nine of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like um, you're kind of establishing some boundaries here in terms of this is where I'm going, this is where I'm doing. If you want to join, it's really your choice. But at this point, I have to emotionally create some sort of boundary, some sort of distance because I can't have my energy involved emotionally with something that I'm not certain that can make the cut, that can make the trip with me, you know? So that's where I feel like things are going for the situation, which quite a nice boundary to put into place, you know? Uh, so you're keeping it open in a way, but you're not emotionally fully attached to this, to the point of, oh, it's gotta happen like this, you know? No. For the Queen of Pentacles, you get the Hangman, the Ace of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. Until you take charge and take responsibility and make things happen. In regards to this situation in particular, your self-love is being placed on pause. It's kind of like you're not doing anything for you that matters for you. You're putting yourself in a position that doesn't feel right for you just because. While you do that, there's that has nothing to do with self-love. So you're kind of showing me this energy is on pause until I take charge and I get clarity and I know what I'm doing about this. You can't rely on circumstances kind of deciding for what you need to do for yourself in regards to anything, let alone something like this. That seems to be quite important to you, you know, otherwise you wouldn't be mixed up in it at all. So until you take charge, take responsibility, take accountability for this, and make something happen, whatever it is, not rely on outside factors to do it for you, that's not self-love, that's something else, you know? So the self-love energy is on pause. Um, page of Wands in your hopes and fears, you get the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups. I see your hopes for this and they're great. And I see possible potential for this and it's great. But is this the reality of this? No, but it could be. Stop giving me could be's. You don't have could be's. You don't even have could be's for you, for tomorrow, for five minutes from now. You know, you have now. I'm asking you about now. It's Cause that's, that's what a lot of people hang on to, you know? Maybe someday. What about until then? Oh, I'm gonna suffer, you know, I'm gonna put myself through shit, but for that someday. Because that makes a lot of sense. Um, for the Nine of Wands, you get the Two of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. You're still going to struggle a little bit with the rejection of accepting reality as it is. Um, it's really up to you ultimately. But I see you going in the direction of rejection big time. You know, And it's looking like it's stretching over this period of time. And then you're showing me, oh, I can go for more. I can go for more with this one. You know, I can do better in not accepting reality. So the more you do that, the harder it's going to get for you. But, um, and I know it's not an easy thing to do. I know it's not like, oh, as of now, I'm accepting. No, it's, it's got to sit right within you and you got to feel it deep down. So I know, I know it's not an easy task, but just so you know where the energies are at, you know, about it. Um, let's see what the universe has to close out. The Magician, the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're building for yourself, whatever this brand new beginning is that you're actually in the middle of stepping into, it's freaking amazing. It's something you're manifesting. It's something you're creating, as I said. And it looks freaking amazing. And you're looking at it and you feel good about it. So your focus is 100% there. My observation would be be mindful of what you're bringing with you you know so 
let's close it off with the Oracle of the Fairies. Protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.